I'm Liam Grundy, I'm uh, 17 years old, and I'm a private pilot. I probably started flying, I think it was September of 2014, I, I uh, went out to the flying club one day and, and just sort of signed myself up for lessons and since then I, it's just been sort of a weekly ritual for me to, to make my way out to the airport to, to fly. I think I'm generally a pretty technical person, I like to challenge myself through different ways other than you know than, than going to school and writing a test I like to to challenge myself to learn different things and to be sort of different than other people and so I think part of what drives me to, to be a pilot and be successful in that is not just because I like it but also I think that it, it sort of separates me from other people and uh, it develops who I am as a person and, and makes me meticulous in other aspects of life yeah, I was like the minivan of the sky. <laughs> For me it was just, I, I really wanted to start doing it as soon as possible. So as soon as I, I got an opportunity to, you know, climb into the plane and, and start going, you know, I took it. I, I, wow, it would probably be easier for me to, to wait and do it after, you know, while I'm not in high school. I, I chose to just get it, get it started as soon as possible because I was so excited to, to begin training. Do you need a sticky mount for your GoPro? And that should be good. So pre-flight, we're good. Passive braking, we're good. Seats, belt, shoulder harnesses, those are good. Brakes are in. Second breakers are all in. Watch will come into off, off. You know, it's off. Feels like your belt, both. Feels shut off, valve, in. Brakes are gone, shocks are out. Yeah, it's amazing how much setup you have to do to get everything ready. Yeah. Mike Tango Fox Rod is holding short of runway 35, ready for departure. What I've learned through flying is you, know, you start off only knowing your instructor, then as soon as you get your license, you meet this whole other community of pilots, and, and that really can open a lot of doors for you. So I'd say part of anything is, is getting started and, and getting into training but also building you know connections in the community of whatever you're doing and and pursuing opportunities through that as well. I'm Liam and Victor, this is Mike Tango Fox. We're now about uh, 10 to the south of Turner Valley, still in the foothills, just gonna do a couple of turns and then probably head back. Sounds good, Liam and Victor. And as it gets you Mr. we're also at 7.5 now as well. That's a pretty good view. It gives me, uh, you know, opportunities to meet other people and and learn from people that are just as extraordinary or ordinary as I am. Um, because while I may be a pilot, there are plenty of other people out there that do things that are, you know, even more technical or even more challenging than that that I can then learn from and connect to my life uh, so that I can improve, you know, my skills and and find new passions. How long has the process been from when you first like? went to the flying club to like right this moment. I believe my uh, my first real, in I did a, what's called an intro flight, but it's not really flying, you, you know, you get to, to control the airplane, pretty much what we're doing right now, if, you know, in a bit I'll let you do a couple turns and stuff, but the real first bit of flight training I did was, I think, September 28th uh, of last year, so uh, 2015. It's hard in that some aspects of high school, like homework, for example, might take away from the time that you can consecrate to you know your extracurriculars that you might find just as important personally. So like me there are many times where for an exam I might have a pilot exam coming up that I haven't been able to study as much as I would like for because I have to complete you know pretty basic homework in school. But I think that you know one of the pretty much integral aspects of being human is that everyone's a bit unique and everyone has to find something that differentiates themselves from you know, the, the standard set in your, your building blocks of life and for me that's that's flying, whereas for someone else it might be art or designing things and I think part of growing up is finding finding something like that and, and developing it to such an extent that that becomes sort of part of your personal identity. You gotta move the mic a bit closer, pretty much until you're kissing it. Oops, I did not mean to do Oh, don't worry about it. I did just lick your microphone.
That's fine. They said like. Okay, that's still recording.